Guardian Home Inspection, performing sewer line inspection 45244 Huckleberry Oak Street, Simi Valley, California. Property is built in 2003, four bedroom, three bath, 2788 square footage. I'm going through the rear uh, clean out. This is just going to see the interior workings of the, um, of the sewer uh, from the rear to the front. So um, I'm just going to quickly do this just to go so we could see underneath the house. Um, I don't have any water turned on. Sometimes I do have to turn it on. So I'm seeing PVC pipe, which is okay. Um, I don't see any damage, any cracks. Uh, so the goal is here is just to see the inner workings of your sewer line. I might have to turn on the water here in a second just to kind of give me a better picture. I mean, uh, help me push. Because sometimes, because this is a, I push manually. Sometimes it's hard to push this, uh, this sewer line, sewer camera. So here like right now it's starting to get tougher and I'll turn on the water in a second but I like to dry and uh, so the bottom 38 feet out there go. and then there's a key out the front so this is underneath the house and then what I'll do is I'll put the camera at the front clean out as well and then uh, see how that looks. Turn I have to navigate. Let me turn on the water, I'll be right back. Alright, turn off the water just to get a better picture. Uh, but it seems to be flowing properly. Now I'm just going to retract my camera. So this was inside, I went about 40 feet uh, interior of the property. And then, like I said, I will go stick my sewer camera inside. I don't see any damage, any blockage. Uh, so that's a good thing. That's a good sign. For So the underneath of the property appears serviceable. I don't see any issues. Okay, now I'm in the front. I'm at the front of the property, this clean out here. Um, so now, I'm going to access your main sewer line. And so the goal here is for me to get to the main city connection um, because the uh, homeowner is responsible up to the city connection. Let me flush the toilet here a second. There's like some hair there. I think it's just hair, yeah. Just residual. I'm gonna flush the toilet, see if that goes away here. Take a picture of that right there. I think it's just hair. I'm gonna go flush the toilet real quick. Alright, flush the toilet, we'll see what happens here. Um, see if that's just kind of a residual thing. See if we see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Here it comes. Yeah, it was just some kind of grimace. Just hair. So I'll let this water subside and then uh, continue the inspection. So like I said, uh, the, the goal here is to get to the main city sewer connection, the city saddle as they call it, and uh, to view your inner workings of your sewer line, which I already looked underneath the house, it appears serviceable. Um, I didn't inspect 100% of your sewer lines just because there's so many cleanouts that I didn't stick my camera in all these cleanouts. If you wanted to, we could come back and, and it's an uh, additional fee to inspect and do a water check. but. So I did uh, part of your sewer line from rear to the front, and then this is your main sewer line from the front of the property to the city connection. That band looks good. So it's uh, white PVC, 
it got a little discolored but that's normal so now I'm uh, 20 feet out the slope appears serviceable at uh, 18 there's a little underwater area here which I never like to see uh, I wonder why that's happening here there's a little dip oh and there's some tree roots there that's why it's causing a little issue and uh, you know I didn't expect this from uh, this property because I didn't see any trees in the front of the property but you do have a uh, tree root intrusion here and uh, there's that see that that's not a good thing there I'm gonna have to mark it I, I have a, a locator um, that uh, will help me figure where this area is and it'll tell me how deep it is and uh, so that's not good I don't like to see that there but you do have some tree root issues as soon as I saw that water backing up like a little puddle uh, I you know it was an issue I knew it was gonna be an issue because that you normally don't see that happen um, you know you see that the water just flows and there's no obstruction 30 feet, 38 feet out This green pipe could be the city already. I'm not 100% sure, just because those tree roots obstructed the view. So I could be in the city here, because I'm 54 feet out. I don't think I'm this far from the city connection, but we'll see how far I can take this and just kind of observe it. We already saw some tree roots, so uh, that was the issue. Now, see, that's the city saddle right there. Uh, so now that dumps into the city. That's uh, everyone else's line there. But um, for the most part, you do have tree root intrusion. So the city saddle looks okay. See that? That's the city saddle. I'll take a picture of that. There's that. And uh, so let me backtrack to the area in question and uh, locate that for you. So at this point, in order for a plumber to come repair this line, they're gonna have to most likely hydrojet it, clean it out, and then that's usually about seven hundred to fifteen hundred dollar repair uh, hydrojet in that range. Fifteen hundred is the high, seven hundred be the low. So in that range, they'll come out, they'll hydrojet it with high pressure hose, and they'll clear out the roots. And then they'll stick the camera in again, which is included in the fee, and they'll assess your sewer line. They'll have to give you a quote on what it's going to cost to repair. And I do recommend having a licensed contractor further review this sewer line. I'm going to locate it for, for them. I mean, they're going to locate it as well, but I'm going to locate it myself just to kind of uh, see that pipe looks like it's broken, it's damaged. So they might have to do a spot repair not sure so let me uh, go locate that go put it there so the camera has a sound um, that emits a frequency and I can locate it and it'll tell me how deep it is as well so let me go locate that I'll be right back okay so the root intrusion is located at the clean out at the front sidewalk right as you enter from the city sidewalk onto your property at that sidewalk looking on the east side front there's a plastic circle it says sewer on there that is where the tree root intrusion is located so uh, recommend further review and repair by licensed plumber they're gonna have to figure this out what's the best course of correction they might have to uh, do a spot repair there and see there's a little belly here too as well this is underwater here uh, I'm not sure if it's associated with the uh, the root intrusion but it appears that let's see uh, so see that 18 degree let's see what happens when I get closer in there see if it changes on me it goes to 10 9 8 so 7 so the pipe looks like it goes upslope see that there's a belly so it goes to plus there's the plus so it goes from uh, 17 to like 2 degrees so I think that's what's causing that little uh, upslope. And there's the tree roots. So, uh, further review, recommend further review and repair by licensed plumber. 
there's that uh, blockage there or that uh, belly so they they'll probably do a spot repair in that section spot re repair would in entail cutting into that concrete and adjusting and fixing that pipe making it properly sealed there is a clean out right there so they this this might have been already addressed and the tree roots have come back so um that's your sewer line inspection everything else appears serviceable like i said we did the underneath the property not 100 percent of it but most of it and then your main sewer line so there is an issue so at this point i do recommend having this sewer line further reviewed and repaired so that means they should inspect the entire sewer line from the rear put a put all put a camera in everywhere everywhere because now um, i found an issue and just to Make sure everything is solid. Uh, when the plumber's here, have them review the main line, give you a price quote, and have them put the camera in all the areas that he can. Just, just to uh, make sure everything is okay. Um, all right, thank you very much. Give me a call if you have any questions.